Well, today, senators quizzed doctors Anthony Fauci and Rochelle Walensky on the mixed messaging from the CDC. Lawmakers say they want to clear up the confusion, but as WBZ's John Keller shows us, politics are part of the problem. What it means to be exposed. We're in a room right now. I sure, I'm sure someone here has Omicron. Confusion uh, over CDC guidelines. We found it very confusing. And I think the American people found it confusing. And I don't say it lightly when I say not too many people in America are listening. To what and waning talking. confidence in government messaging were prominent in this hearing. The messengers vowed to do better. But a key challenge they face was also on display here. The exploitation of the battle against COVID by political opportunists. Do you really think it's appropriate? to use your $420,000 salary to attack scientists that disagree with you? Senator, you are distorting everything about me. More people have died now under President Biden than did under President Trump. You are the one responsible. You are the architect. You are the lead architect for the response from the government. This happens all the time. You personally attack me and with absolutely not a shred of evidence of anything you say. The president thus far and still has no plan. No doubt about it, the Democrats made an issue of the Republicans' COVID response in the heat of the 2020 campaign. But the demonization of Dr. Fauci has helped undercut the push for vaccination and other precautions among many of the very folks who need to hear it most. Some of what we do is performing. And some of what we do is to become informed. And as Romney noted, there's a public health price to be paid for it. You are uh, being made subject to the, uh, the political whims uh, of, of uh, various political individuals, and, uh, and that comes at a high cost. It has become personal, John. And so when we look back in retrospect, what do you think the political conflict, the impact it will have been on the battle against COVID? Paula, I think it's potentially devastating going forward. What ran, that was Rand Paul, not Richard Burr, who was uh, smearing uh, Dr. Fauci there. Uh, he's not saying, oh, I disagree with you on vaccine mandates or mask mandates. He's say, uh, accusing Fauci of being basically a power-crazed maniac who's involved in all sorts of elaborate conspiracies. Now, you graft that kind of rhetoric onto a culture that's already instinctively suspicious of the political establishment. This is not going to inspire confidence in people uh, about their fellow Americans, about the future feasibility of going back out to restaurants, re-engaging with the economy and the world. Uh, it's bad news all around. It's a disaster in the making. Hopefully we can improve things from here. John Keller, thank you so much. Andrew,